Oh, so I was gonna sit down and shoot my what I got for Christmas video and got more Christmas stuff. <laughs> this is from Denise um, from Somerset, Massachusetts. Thank you, Denise. I'm gonna get my scissor, so bear with me to the table of doom. I call it the table of doom because today is the post day Christmas where everything is in my way. Murphy's Law is in effect and oh. Murphy's Law is in effect and that Murph can get on my nerves sometimes. Just saying. I'll tell Nerf, Murph, you take your, take your stuff somewhere else. Now not Murph, my friend from YouTube. One of the subscribers. Um, his name is Murph135 something. I'm, I'm terrible with names. Um, and I call her Murph, but not her. Just Murphy's Law. This is me cutting the package open. <laughs> oh, how's everybody doing? Okay, good. I then was thinking about doing a live what I got for Christmas. And I feel like I have to be running all over the house getting stuff. Okay. In this package is another package. And in this package, it has instructions. No, it's a letter. Oh, a Christmas letter. Look how pretty, with Snoopy on it. Oh, look at all the Snoopies. Okay. Hi, Jerry Ann. Hope all is well with you and your family. I'm a huge fan of yours on YouTube. I came across you watching Dollar Tree hauls and DIYs. You're an amazing artist with such a creative soul. I'm not a big technology person, i.e. no Facebook, Instagram, no YouTube channels, Twitter, etc. But can't wait to open a YouTube every day to see you and your family. Aw. You make me laugh when you say your family is nutty because I thought my family is the nuttiest there is. <laughs> that could be LOL. No, no, not even close. We haven't even touched on my brothers and sisters' nuttiness. This is just the nuttiness here in this family. I was instantly drawn to you because you're one of the most sincere and honest people I know. I've decided at this point in my life to just be associated with those who love life. I adore the way you love yourself. It amazes me how many people have such low self-esteem and low self-worth. But you're just a great person of awesome. Sorry, a great piece of awesome, which I know, and that's why I have such a high self-esteem, because I know I'm awesome, and that's, you know, really nothing that anybody tells me can change that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm also drawn to you because, like you, I've had hardships and headache in my life, or heartache in my life. In 2005, my father was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and mom couldn't take care of him herself. My wonderful husband agreed it would be best to quit my job and move Oh. Move in with them to help out. My son was 18 and twin daughters were 16 at the time. They would come visit Mamir and Papir. Oh, Ma I guess Mamir and Papir all the time. They were French Canadian. At the time, my son was completing a two year college degree and then decided to join the army to become an infantryman, knowing he would be deployed to Iraq. I had let him live his life even though he was so frightening to me it was so frightening to me sorry i'm starting to get teary and i and i can't read through tears hold on I had let him live his life even though this was frightening to me. The weekend my son deployed to Iraq, we admitted my dad into a wonderful nursing home. It was so hard letting go of the personal care I was giving my dad and even harder to send my son off to war. Two months later, mom was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer that had already metastasized to her liver and brain. She passed away six months later. It was ironic as we all thought dad would be the first to go. My son couldn't come home for mom's funeral as it was too risky that he would be attached to another military unit and have to stay in Iraq longer. Right after this, my son survived an explosion in Iraq from a missile aimed at his Humvee. The army deemed it a miracle. He received a Medal of Honor. My dad passed away nine months after mom. 
my son, now redeployed back to the States, was able to attend my dad's funeral. He accepted my dad's veteran's flag and at the service. My son was stationed at Fort Hood when the massacre occurred. We were frantic waiting to see if he was all right again. He survived this attack as well. And you're, oh. How long was I filming my ear? <sighs> my intention of my story is not one for pity or sympathy. I feel so very blessed and fortunate that I had my parents for so long and had such a good life with them. I feel immensely blessed that my son is alive and doing very well. He, his fiance, and 15-month baby daughter live in the same town as we do. I listen to your stories and see how blessed you feel about how your life turned out, and I feel such a connection with you. I would prefer to stay off social media. I just like to live a private life and know that this is a personal choice. Please accept this cross as a token of my appreciation for coming into my life. We have many friends in Israel, and this cross is made of wood from olive trees in Jerusalem. I hope you love it. I haven't even opened it yet. <laughs> I'm sure I will. Jerry, again, there are no worries. There are no words to really say how much you have touched my heart. Thank you so much for being you, your friend Denise. Hi, Jerry. Sorry for the type note. Have been dealing with a little carpal tunnel, and this letter would have been a little painful. <laughs> I hope you and your family have a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. And with a little, she drew a smiley face. Thank you, Denise. Your story, as you can imagine, your story has really touched me. I'm sure it's touched a lot of people. So, in a package, in a package, in a package. Okay, I think I opened it on both ends now. <laughs> oh, Denise. Okay, I'm going to put my scissor away because it's dangerous. Oh, Denise. It says, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. And it's stamped, the cross on the back is stamped Jerusalem. I know exactly what I'm going to do with this cross. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just so beautiful. you it's so thank you I don't even know that you know I have a cross collection <laughs> because they're not hanging anywhere in my house yet but you're all gonna come with me as I hang this one thank you Denise That's completed, right? Thank you. I got that. I'm gonna attach the videos where I've got other gifts from other subscribers. I've gotten um, uh, beautiful gift cards from Candula Girl, Mary Ellen Roach, who also sent me this beautiful package that I videotaped the other day. Mary Ellen, you really are amazing. You're all amazing, but Thank you. <laughs> um, from Pam Kemmerer, who also sent me a beautiful gift card, uh, to, to Sheila Davies, who sent me the beautiful handmade, um, the, the kitchen towel that looks like a dress that hangs on the kitchen, uh, the kitchen, the, uh, the oven door. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I got a beautiful gift from Jackie O'Brien, which was an oven mitt with homemade 
um, an oven mitt with a wooden spoon with a homemade um, brownie mix in it. I was gifted brownies um, for Christmas, so I haven't made them yet because we're still eating those. Um, all of you who have sent me cards and well wishes and love and support, I, we appreciate every one of them. They are all gifts to us. I don't want to um, to lessen the, the, the physical gifts that we have got given by any stretch of the imagination. They're all more than I ever could imagine. But I also don't want to make anybody feel if they're in a, like us, not in a place to really shower people with gifts. I don't want them to feel, I don't want them to feel any less either. So what I'm going to show you now is what I received at Christmas and I really do wish that I would have videotaped me opening these presents because <laughs> so traditionally <laughs> in our family in our and in, in really in my whole family um for even before until since mom passed away let's put it that way I have to, sort of been Kris Kringle since my mother passed away um I have always just wrapped my own presents. <laughs> so the shock of surprise. But when I got married, I would buy my own presents. Um, Jim, but when we were uh, just engaged, Jim um, bought me our first Christmas together. We were engaged and Jim bought me um, a Christmas present. I still kept it. Um, it wasn't anything that I could use, but I still kept it because it was the first thing he ever bought me. Um, but since then, I've just buy um usually i buy clothes on clearance online or black friday well before this was really before black friday we've been together before that but um all of these things that i would get i would get myself i would just when they came shipped from the stores i would just say here this was for me for christmas and he would wrap it to such a beautiful job um and of course help pay for it so it's not like it wasn't a gift from him well this year <laughs> I had, in a mad dash, basically gotten out of his way. He was like, I'm going to wrap presents, leave me alone. I was like, okay, I'll just get out of your way. So that stuff over there, and I pointed to the pile of stuff that I bought at walmart.com, and I said, that stuff over there is for me. So, okay. Well, apparently, I also gestured in the general direction of stuff from the Dollar Tree. So, <laughs> I had bought stuff from the Dollar Tree that would was going to potentially be a gift for somebody if I didn't find something else or if I was invited over for a hostess gift, that kind of stuff. So if you guys remember, I got this plastic cookie can. Uh, it was clear and it had deer on the outside and a red lid. Um, I'll insert a picture here. Um, he wrapped it. <laughs> so he just went go got goofy and wrapped all his stuff from the Dollar Tree. Um, stocking stuffers that I had potentially got for other people. <laughs> I found them all wrapped in under the tree. So it was kind of a fun Christmas. Like I said, I wish I would have realized he was going to do that. I would have filmed it because I the look on my face of laugh and surprise that I had gotten all these things that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> but I got this outfit, and I'm going to insert the picture here. I took, wore it the other day, and it's from Walmart. I got the pants were, um, they're jeggings, and they were $10.00. And the shirts were three. I got this green one and a red one of the exact same. Um, the red one I wore with my Christmas pants the other day. I think I shot the video in the red one the other day. The um, the gift opening for Mary Ellen. That was in my um, Christmas t-shirt that I got. And I got a dress that was a 4X and does fit me, but it's not a knit it's a uh, rayon and it doesn't stretch so it fits me if I stand up it's snug if I sit down and I don't like snug when I sit down and it is beautiful I'll show you here it's really pretty and it actually looks really good on I just don't feel comfortable in it I can't sit down comfortably in it I'm afraid that I'm um, not afraid but it's just too tight when I sit down um, and then of course I got the pre Christmas stuff I got the three pairs of pairs of leggings the red plaid that we wore on our Christmas tree tour that was our Christmas Eve pajamas we gave to each other we just gave them to us a little early because we wanted to wear them for the Christmas tree tour and um, the two Christmas pairs of leggings those were my pre Christmas Christmas gifts um, then the other things that I got were 
this set of Matilda. Matilda's one of my favorite movies. Matilda, Madeline, and the original Annie. And the, not the original, like the other one's not original. It's just the, I don't know how to refer to the old Annie. <laughs> I got the pickle prize. If you guys have not heard of the pickle prize, basically it's a German tradition. There's this little hand blown glass ornament that is a pickle. They sell them at the Dollar Tree too. Not hand blown glass, they're plastic. But um, and what you do is Santa hides the pickle the night before and whoever wakes up first and finds the pickle first gets the pickle prize. And it's usually just like a family movie or something um, in case whoever wins it. But, um, you know, since it's just really just me and Jim because mom doesn't participate in the pickle prize, we basically just swap off each year. <laughs> he hides it, I find it. I get the prize. I hide it. He finds it. He gets the prize. So um, this year it was Shaun the Sheep. And I got these. These were, I got them after Black Friday, but they were still on the Black Friday price. And Santa was good to me. Okay. So one day I'm going to sit and I'm going to do a movie review. But this movie is topped one of my all time favorites. Um, it's about a woman who gets divorced because she's caught off guard and really tries to reinvent her life and herself, and it's just amazing. And if you get a chance, it's basically the, ta the, the, the moral of the story is she thinks she knows what she wants, but she doesn't realize what she wants is what she has, which kind of is like, I like that, right? Um, Mom gave me a $10 gift card to the Dollar Tree the season 12 of Supernatural box set. And Jim and I, she gave us a $25 gift card to Applebee's so we can go out on a date night. So I told you guys that my friend Sharon had sent me a basket of goodies that I showed you from Fiji's and a can of nuts, which I couldn't show you because they're already gone. She also sent me, a 50, us, Jim and I, a $15 gift card to, um, Regal Movie Theaters, which is the movie theater here, so we can have the date night. You know, Mom gave us dinner, and that's the movies, and we're good. Um, my, oh, and this beautiful, beautiful toiletry holder from Mary Kay. If you guys remember, Sharon says Mary Kay. She's a Mary Kay representative. I'll link her, her page down below in the description box if you're interested in getting any Mary Kay. But she got these personalized. She has a friend who did them, and they're absolutely beautiful. And she picked my colors. Black, white, and pink is my office color. Black, white, and red is the rest of my house. And she knows me because she's my best. Um, speaking of besties, Lisa sent me these beautiful Mercury Glass Angels, and they're LED, and they light up. So I haven't turned them on yet or taken them out of their box, but they're like a hand-blown glass, and they're from Pier 1. And funnily enough, Lisa is that like collects angels, but she's decided to go ahead and give angels because she wants to spread the blessings. I just think that's beautiful. Aunt Sue gave us a sheet for our bed from Brookline, which is a really high end linen company um, online. And she has the set and she loves them. So she um, went ahead and bought us one. Um, so I'll show you that here. And she gave me a $25 gift card to the Dollar Tree. Thank you, Nancy. And she also gave me Peace on Earth. You guys have seen it. I have it on the chair there. It's eventually going to go in the craft room slash office, but that place is a disaster. And I should show it to you exactly how what a disaster it is. I should. Um, Terry who came gave us that beautiful blanket the one that's got mittens on it I will show it to you a little bit better um, yeah that's everything so for those of you I don't think we've even talked about some of our Christian traditions and it's a little late for me to tell you about my Christmas traditions now right but traditionally when I wrap the presents they're not all from us some of them say from Jim and Jerry some of them say from J&J &J, but most of them are from Santa one of the Christmas traditions that I have is I like to wrap presents from Santa. Stuff that you would get like pajamas or 
or socks. Those are from us, but the Santa gives the fun stuff. So if you're interested in what Jim got, um, I could let you know down below, but I pretty, pretty sure I hold everything that Jim got. <laughs> except his video games. We, Mom got him the new Assassin's Creed Origins, which he was very excited to get. He actually tried these games on Redbox for us, which was good. He really doesn't do that normally, but then he doesn't really care for a game, and then he has to sell it back. And, and we're just not in the position financially for him to, like, waste. I know it sounds silly, waste money, because you do get money back. But, you know, it's you can rent it for a, a day at $3, or you could spend lose $20 in the exchange. So, um I got him Call of Duty World War II, which is what he asked for. Mom got him the Assassin's Creed. And then he got sweatpants and pajama pants. And he got um, Pacific Rim on Blu-ray, which is what he asked Santa for. And he got t-shirts and, you know, socks and underwear and fun stuff like that. Um, Mom gave him and I both the gift card to Applebee's. Sharon gave him and I the gift card to the movies. Um, Aunt Sue gave him Jack Black's beard oil. Uh, Jim suffers from dry skin, as you guys know. He's got touch of psoriasis. But especially this time of year, he really does have to moisturize. And um, he didn't hasn't used it yet because he wants to be able to trim, like take a good shape, which he only does like twice a week. Um, if he's working and he did it right before Christmas so he'll probably have to do it tomorrow but he didn't have time to shave today but because um, he just trims with the electric razor real quick but he wants to really give himself a good shave and after his shower he wants to use this beard oil and it just looks so luxurious for him and he's sort of the kind of guy that you know you need to push him to have a little luxury to himself you know um, and she gave him she gave everybody three presents. She gave him beard oil. Oh, she gave him a game. Oh, a, game a game called Tribond. Now, when we all have family time, game time, Jim tends to be on his own game time. And, and because he's been working two jobs, I kind of let him. But she was basically giving him the game so he would participate in it. But Tribond is a lot of fun, and we never heard of it until we went to Ohio last year. And Aunt Joyce had gotten it. And what it is, is it's basically they give you three clues and you have to say how they're connected. So, um, and that's so it's, it's fun. And then they have picture ones that you try to do what they have in common. So that's a lot of fun. And his third gift. His third gift. I'll insert the words here. Or I'll ask him. I don't remember what he got. Isn't that funny? Yeah, that's okay. But, um, so that was everything. Um, we did get lots of little things, you know, stocking stuffers. We got each other, and um, I got lotion and um, lip balm and, um, you know, little notepads and stuff. My cute little, I hauled them last year. <laughs> last year on clearance. Last year on clearance from the Dollar General. I found got for 50 cents. There's these cute little notepad sets. And this was ugly Christmas sweater with light bulbs. And it came with this little pen and it's a notepad and you know stuff like that was in the stocking and that's what I like I buy them the year before like I've stocked up on stuff this year and it'll be in stockings next year first of all it's better for a surprise for me because if I have to buy myself something I don't see it for a year I forgot I got it. <laughs> it's like a surprise <laughs> if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions at all leave them in the comments down below Share this video with friends and family. Anybody you know you'd be interested in seeing what I got for Christmas. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. When you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, from the Henson household, take care. God bless. See you next time. Bye. But that's it, everybody. So I hope you really enjoyed this What I Got for Christmas video. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below because I, I don't know that I'm going to remember everything. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below as well. Um, I already asked you that, didn't I? Oh, I'm so tired. I need some more coffee. Today is a day of cleaning. Today is a day of cleaning everything. Um, anyway. <laughs>